the last border war between Virginia and Maryland before the Terps go to the Big Ten. Caleb Rose starting for the Terps at quarterback because C.J. Brown got hurt last week with a concussion against Florida State. Rose going to get credit for a 77-yard pass completion here to Brandon Ross, but Ross doing most of the work. I must get into the end zone. No, down at the two. But Ross gets the touchdown two plays later. 7-6, Maryland. Crazy play for the Terps. Rowe looking deep for Dion Long. It's tipped. And Stephon Diggs ends up with the catch. Watch Caleb Rowe here. Not a great pitch to Brandon Ross. It does the job. There's no one on the outside to stop him. Seven-yard score. Ross, 88 yards rushing. 14-6, Terrapins. Less than five minutes to go in the half. David Watford looks like he's going to use his legs. Stops. Throws to Jake McGee for the four-yard touchdown. 14-13, Maryland. UVA with the ball again. And Wofford to McGee. Well, this just looks like your average catch on an out pattern. But watch again. McGee, the one-hand grab. Eight catches for 114 yards. Sets up a field goal. 16-14, Cavs. Fourth quarter now. Maryland up 2016. Kevin Parks gets to the corner. Six-yard touchdown. He went over the century mark in the game. 23-20, UVA. Maryland facing a third and 21. So at least throw it up there, right? Worst thing that happens is an INT. Dion Long hauls it in for a 47-yard catch. What a play. Two plays later, row to Dave Steinbaugh. Great diving grab in the end zone for the go-ahead touchdown. The Terps lead at 27-26. Last chance for UVA. Alex Vazinilic. The backup kicker in because Ian Fry is out with a hip flexor. Randy Edsel loves it. The 42-yarder wide. And the Terps barely hold on. 27-26. Give credit to Caleb Bro. Came out of the bullpen. 332 yards passing. A solid performance by David Watford. Probably his best game of the year so far. 27-44. 263 yards. UVA next up facing Duke. Maryland visits Wake Forest.